God's awesome creation. Did you know that? Hey, it's Dennis here again with you. In this uh, episode, we're going to look at some random interesting facts from God's holy word. So let's jump right in. In Ezekiel 16.4, we find an unusual practice involving newborn babies. This verse talks about babies being salted. Uh, tradition has it that salt, after a baby was born, um, was to be rubbed rubbed into the into the skin. No one is sure why this was done, but I am sure God had a reason. Guesses range from sanitary reasons to symbolic to firming up the skin. Maybe I should try it around my eyes to firm up the skin. Anyways, we live in a time where we can store books, newspapers, and all manner of documents in a nearly indestructible manner on disks. And this, that is, as long as the disks are stored properly and cared for. Of course, this uh, great uh, storage was not always so. In fact, I remember in my time when there were no computers and you stored information in uh, file cabinets. <laughs> but in Bible times, documents of importance were often stored in earthen war, earthenware clay jars for long-term preservation, that is. And you can check this out at uh, Jeremiah 32.14. Let's take a moment to look at that verse together, it reads, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, take these evidences, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed and this evidence which is open, and put them together in an earthen vessel that they may continue many days. Now, there are many examples of this practice. However, most well-known example is the famous Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, that when found in 1947 had been preserved in just exactly that kind of vehicle, a vehicle, <laughs> sorry, a vessel for over 2,000 years. Of course, most of us know that the Bible is truly a library of many books and authors, though each wrote exactly what God gave them. But there is something I never considered before. <laughs> that being, the Bible was actually written on three different continents. It was written in Asia, Africa, and Europe. We all know the account of the three wise men, but their names are not mentioned in the Bible. However, there are, they are commonly known as Caspar, Melchor, and Balthasar. And these names were uh, detailed in an early 6th century Greek manuscript. The Bible was written over uh, an astounding period of over 40 generations. And it uh, was composed over a time frame of 15 um 1,500 years. Part of the uh, proof that it is inspired of God is that there is not one contradiction or error through all of those years, though some people try to claim that there are and will show uh, verses taking out of, taken out of context and verses that their carnal mind cannot understand and say, look, here's a contradiction in God's Word. Sorry, nope, it never happens. The actual dates uh, from the Bible's creation are the texts that... Uh, combined to make the Bible, range from 1,400 B.C. to A.D. 100. In the account of Jesus' crucifixion, the name of the two thieves is not mentioned. However, according to ancient tradition, their names were Dismas and Gestus. Talk about unusual editions of the Bible. <clears throat> the one I'm about to describe is very, very strange. A Bible housed in the collections of the University of Göttingen is written on, are you ready for this? 2,470 palm leaves. There are two men mentioned in the Bible who never died. Their names were Enoch and Elijah, and God brought them into heaven. Now, Lazarus was raised from the dead by Jesus in the New Testament, but interestingly, the duration of his life is not mentioned. Then in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, we find Eve tempted by the serpent. And now, jump ahead to the last book of the Bible, Revelation, and the serpent referred to is Satan. Well, that's all I've got for you this time. Um, hope you'll subscribe, and so that you'll be kept up to date on all the new releases that I make. Have a great day, and God bless.